that's what I've done too. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer when I was 20, which resulted in having to have surgery and they removed all but a fourth of my thyroid gland. I've had to take a uh, synthetic hormone to give me the thyroid hormone that I needed ever since. I was uh, diagnosed with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome some years later and fibromyalgia some years later, which, you know, I just continued to get sicker and sicker. My husband had to pick me up out of the bed if I had to get up. He had to feed me, set me up in the bed and feed me. It, it got really bad to the point is where um, pretty much so bathed her and carry her from the bed to the bathroom and things of this nature just to, just to, for her to survive on a daily basis. They really um, didn't know what to do for that type of, of illness. I was pretty much told that you just kind of had to live with it. I couldn't help her, you know, and no matter what she told me, what hurt or what felt bad or what was happening, I couldn't help her and neither could anybody else, we didn't think. My doctor finally said, Vanessa, you know, I really don't know what to do for you at this point. All I can do is try to give you medicines to make you more comfortable, but I would suggest that you um, go see this nutritionist and maybe she could help you figure out what you can eat where at least you know you can start to get some nutrients from something. Vanessa actually was referred to me by her endocrinologist. When she first came to me she was literally not able to spend a day at all out of the bed. Uh, she had lost a tremendous amount of weight. She was allergic to almost everything. I was having a lot of trouble finding any foods that I could eat at all, which really resulted in me being so weak. The inside of her mouth was had a lot of sores inside of it. The uh, lips had uh, multiple sores on them, like a cold sore type thing, and her hair was like straw and coming out. The first thing I did was the nest testing. The system is designed to determine areas of distortion in the body field. New information is made available to the body by ingesting drops that have been imprinted with an information pattern. I started her out at the dosing that we would have addressed a child because her energy fields were that weak. So we uh, started out very, very cautiously. One morning I woke up after I had been seeing uh, Deborah probably for uh, a couple months. And I just had this feeling that I hadn't ever had. And I knew, I knew that, that this was the answer. And I felt so good that I just cried. I just sat up in the middle of my bed and I just cried and cried and cried. In about six months, she reached an energy level of where the body was beginning to transfer message more effectively to where every layer that we went through, she was uh, showing remarkable uh, health changes. Being from a man's standpoint and a southern country boy type person is how I grew up. I first thought it was hocus pocus, you know, and I had my doubts and it took a while. But I see now that it, it's, it's phenomenal. It truly is. I've become healthy enough to what I think is living a normal life again. Because now I can clean my own house. I can cook my meals. I can even work in the yard. I can even wash my car. I can do things that I never thought I would ever be able to do again. It's 180 degrees from where it was. It's just a total turnaround. It really is. I really don't know how to explain the difference in the way I feel. It's like I died and I come back to life. And I never thought that I would ever feel this way again. I got my life back. I got my life back.